<laughs> hey beer fans, Ashley here from sexandashbrewing.ca, back again, day four, craft beer advent calendar, Belgium edition, let's just get to it. I double checked, I know exactly which box number four is in, so I'm not going to make that same mistake. Again, this is four. So, so far I've been pretty impressed with the three beers I've had. They've all been pretty good, no issues with them whatsoever. Let's see what day four brings. Oh, this one's in here really, really well. Okay. So, we have Devotion Blondale, brewed and bottled by the Lost Abbey, San Marcos, California. 12 fluid ounces, 6%. I'll call it by volume. There you go. Pretty cool uh, cap there as well, the eyeball. Uh, Devotion Blonde Ale. So let's see what they got on the back. It's an unassuming road leading to the Abbey. Here off the corner of two intersect intersecting roads, dedicated monks have been making beer for over 150 years. This light, crisp, refreshing Blonde Ale was brewed in homage to those who have brewed before us while maintaining their steadfast devotion to their craft, beginning with subtle hop characters from the dry hopping, followed by a thin layer of malt and notes of fresh hay and grassy fields with a nice dry finish. Let your devotion guide you on your journey. Serving temp 44 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, bottled on date, nothing like that. So, but cool. Digging the label. Looking pretty cool. All right, let's get into it. Mm, smells nice. All right, uh, appearance. Uh, Get it. I think it's more of a chill haze than anything. Uh, again, th this box is being stored in my garage, not in my fridge, so it's a little bit warmer than that. Uh, I did bring this out, it's been sitting out for about 45 minutes. Uh, from what I can see from the glass, there's a stream of bubbles coming up right from the center. Looks like a nice lively carbonation. Head dissipated pretty quick, but what I do get is a uh, sort of a white, um, white foamy ring there. Let's go, and uh, yeah, color-wise, it's sort of like a, a light, uh, Oh, sort of like a, a darker yellow or a sort of a, a light amber, I guess. Looks looks like a very nice beer. Let's get the aroma. So, just get a very nice crisp, very light, um, inviting type of aroma. A little grassy, a little uh, a little uh, lemon to it. Yeah, just a touch of malt graininess there, like a little bit of like a, a little bit of cracker. Huh. Looks and smells apart. Let's get into it. Cheers. That's a delightful beer. Very nice. So you get a little bit of. Um, a little bit of, of sweetness up front from the malt gives it, it, on the finish though it goes a little on the bitter side which is really nice sort of counteracts the sweetness a little bit pretty active carbonation sort of very spritzy on the mid uh, middle of my tongue Although it is sweet on the on the front, it does finish on the dry side, which is actually quite nice. Super easy drinking. This could be like a go-to beer. I mean, it is 6%, so you'd have to watch yourself if you wanted to have multiples over the course of an evening, but this could be any sitting in anyone's fridge and, you know, crack this open and pretty much give it to anybody. This would be a nice gateway beer too for uh, people who are new to craft or new to Belgian beers. Excuse me. Ooh, that carbonation there. Um, yeah, overall, just nice, delightful beer. Subtle yeast nuances to it as well. Yeah, getting just a very ever so faint uh, bubblegum note. 
and maybe a touch of clove there that maybe is sort of helping out with the uh, with the dryness on the end. Other than that, that's another great beer. I think we're sort of four for four um, for my personal enjoyment with this, with this uh, advent calendar. So there we go. That wraps that one up. Devotion Blondale from the Lost Abbey in uh, San Marcos, California. Um, again, have you had anything, or have you have you had anything at all from the Lost Abbey? Have you had this beer at all? If no, please let me know. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of it. And uh, other than that, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. I've been getting some great comments coming through. Uh, some serious, some not so serious. Some people I know, but that's okay. Uh, anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. And until tomorrow, have yourself a good one. Cheers.